Galen Erso is the architect of destruction and the unwilling creator of the Death Star Super Laser. But where did he come from? Hello Star Wars fans, my name is Joel Robinson and this is the 16 day video countdown to Rogue One. Galen Erso was born and grew up on the planet Grange, a brilliant scientist he attracted the attention of both Republic and Separatist armies. Orson Krennic described him like this, Galen Erso is one of the core's most renowned polymaths, a theoretician, a mathematician, an engineer, and experimental physicist. At present, he is the preeminent authority on crystals and their use in supplying enhanced power. Galen's studies focused on the use of kyber crystals to provide energy. Orson Krennic wanted to use Galen's research for the Republic's secret superweapon, but Galen claimed no alliance to the Republic or Separatists when asked about the possibility of weaponizing the crystals. He saw science as having no side. Galen married an archaeologist named Lyra, and together they had a daughter named Jin. At one point, Galen and his family were kidnapped by the Separatists and forced to study the use of kyber crystals in the Separatists' own weaponization attempts. Galen and his family were rescued by Orson Krennic and moved back to Coruscant. Later, during the rise of the Galactic Empire, Galen, realizing what his research was being used for, decided to flee the former Republic with the aid of Saw Gerrera. Saw helped Galen and his family escape to the planet of La Mu. Galen was later kidnapped again, this time by Orson Krennic, who forced him to work on the Death Star. In fact, during the construction of the Death Star, it is Galen Erso that sends the stress call to the Rebellion, which starts the plot of Rogue One. So Galen's entire life revolved around the study of kyber crystals. But what even are kyber crystals? Come back tomorrow to find out. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you need more Star Wars. And as always, may the Force be with you.